Hello everyone and welcome to the vlog. My name is Brooke if you are new here and today we are doing a very fun solo day at Hollywood Studios and maybe another park later because I am finally concussion free. I did something very stupid at work. It was 100% my own fault gave myself a minor concussion, and I have not been able to ride very big rides in a little while. So we are going, now that I am healed and ready to go, we are going to ride all the big rides. And what a better park to start out with than Hollywood Studios. I am starting on the Skyliner today because I did have a doctor's appointment over at Epcot in their Living Well Center, and that was my first experience with American Healthcare. Wow. Um, that was horrible and I completely understand now what Americans are saying. Uh, not good. In just but a few minutes, we will be arriving at Disney's Hollywood Studios. I ordered some lunch and our window for that starts in about 20 minutes. So we will go pick that up then. Until then, let's take a slow walk over there and wander some of the shops. I've been loving this one. I think it's so fun for spring break. What are these? Oh, that's awful. I've said it once and I will say it again. The snack collection is awful. Like actually awful. So bad. Today's outfit also, I call it the cute comfort and ride focused. We're cute, we're comfy, and we're good to go on the rides without any outfit mishaps. Woody's lunchbox. Um, so I did the kids' grilled cheese and then I got the soup dipper and of course some potato barrels and then just a little milk because, yes, I drink straight milk. Sue me. Officially fueled, now let's go ride some rides. Um, and some stuff that I haven't told y'all. Today, this morning, it just has very much had its downs. I'm trying to turn it around, but I went to Starbucks. I got my peach iced green tea lemonade, um, and of course I'm obsessed with these. And the girl there, her name is Janie, was the sweetest, and she was like, I follow your Instagram, um, like, for everything you've done for me. Like, this is on Mickey today. So, she made my day. She wanted to, like, I wanted to, like, sob. She was so sweet. She wrote, you are the magic on the cup. Um, did little doodles and that. Just the absolute sweetest person. Um, yeah. So, I gave her a little cast compliment. Um, and now I get my peach ice cream tea. Whatever this thing is called. You know the drill. Ice Cold Hydraulics is the new place that just opened by Muppet Vision. Um, I looked at the menu. It wasn't anything crazy. I would say the most impressive thing I saw on there was like they had like mini churros um, and like some sort of painted cinnamon roll or something. Other than that, it's like popcorn, the same popcorn bucket you get everywhere else. Um, drinks, there was nothing special. Just like rum and coke was like the most exclusive thing they had there. Um, your frozen ice cream bars, like that kind of stuff, it really didn't seem that crazy. I don't know, if there's not a line later, the cinnamon roll might be good, but I'm not too like, oh my gosh, I have to try this right away on it. Like it just looks, looks like fairly basic. Theme park food that they sell everywhere else is just a new spot to purchase it. I'm trying to find a good spot to just hang out while I wait for our next ride to be ready, which is going to be Toy Story Mania. But I'm trying to find a comfy spot just to sit and hang out, and I have not had much luck so far. I'm very busy here today. I can't even find like a bench to sit down on because everywhere is just packed full of people. So I don't know, maybe we'll just have a day, a little wandering day instead of reading. So now of course it's time for Toy Story Mania, but Toy Story Mania is closed. Um, so we did get a multi-experience. We're gonna head over to Smuggler's Run. The only big ride is also included in the multi-experience for Toy Story Mania. So we're gonna go do that and just go there and hope I don't recognize anyone because I really wish not to be perceived today. If we could just not perceive me, that would be lovely. So, I 
was indeed perceived, but it was by people I was okay with being perceived by, so it's fine. Um, we are now headed off to get dinner. Actually, quite literally, hours have passed. Um, it's crazy. I feel like time flies by when I'm here at studios. I mean, we've only gotten on two rides so far, but the wait times are just crazy, crazy today. It's And by dinner time, I mean it's like quarter after four, so... I am a little hungry because we just just have that kids meal at Woody's Lunchbox. We're headed to Pizza Rizzo for one of my favorites uh, before we do go on Rise right after that. Uh, but Pizza Rizzo closes at 5, so I just wanted to make sure I get over there because otherwise my option would be ABC. And um, I already had grilled cheese today. The lighting here is a little crazy. They usually have the upper level open, which is where I like to eat because it's a lot quieter, but it was closed today, so obviously I did not. Um, but I just have pizza, a little salad, and a peach bellini. Um, yeah, that Casper came over and just like made a beeline for those chairs to put the weight a second I took out the camera. What's it all? Um, but yes, this is like the combo. The peach bellini is non-alcoholic. One of the best non-alcoholic drinks you can get in the parks, in my opinion. Totally worth it. Um, I love Pizza Rizzo. I find it so underrated and a lot of people hate it, but I truly love it. This is just so good. and then we're gonna continue this vlog. I do obviously want to ride like Tron and Space Mountain and that in Magic Kingdom. So I feel like we can go do that tomorrow. I already have a park reservation and it'll be a good little continuation. Hello friends, good morning, morning. Um, so I told you all I was gonna go to Magic Kingdom and I did have a park reservation for Magic Kingdom yesterday but the vibes were just like not vibing and I was like, let me clean my entire apartment top to bottom those were the vibes we were feeling so that is what i ended up doing um and i was like oh i'll just go the next day and today could totally go to magic kingdom not gonna lie could be like let's go ride tron did not sleep that well last night um didn't get to sleep like was just tossing and turning until probably like 3 a.m so i slept in till like 10 30. um and then i just made some coffee um a little cup here and there's no park reservations available so um <laughs> we can't go to magic kingdom which is very disappointing but that's okay that means that it just was not meant to be next week sadie is coming i love her to death i cannot wait to see her and i know she's going to want to ride all the big rides so not a huge loss i think we're just gonna end up like retitling this vlog like the weekend of my life or something um i do have a three-day weekend this weekend if you couldn't tell and um simply because i managed to train on my shift so I'm, I'm working 37 hours but i'm only working four days which i think is a better deal because a lot of people aren't even getting that many hours like 32 seems to be the new thing and um working five days so i'm like hey i can have a third day off i'd much prefer to work the longer shifts and have um, an extra day off. So that's what we are doing today. I'm thinking, first off, I do, that's probably way too much. Um, I do want to film a, ooh, on the mirror, a room tour, um, cause I haven't done one since living here, which is kind of crazy. And it's something I wanted to do literally since I got here. So a little apartment, a little room tour, and everything is fresh and clean because I cleaned it yesterday minus this garbage I just got on the mirror. Um, but it is all nice and clean, so I think we're going to do that. And then, I don't know, um, depending on the weather, might be really hot out today, it might not. I'd love to go for the pool to the pool and read a bit. I'd love to do a little cast connections adventure, mainly to see what they have grocery-wise. And I also just haven't been there in a while. Um, I am getting a little cabinet in today, 
that I just got really cheap off Amazon just because I did rearrange the furniture and I was like, I I don't know how I feel about this makeup setup that I have. It's like literally I am on the floor. So I got a little stand to go right where the camera is here. And I, I don't know, I think we might keep the makeup on the floor for a bit and see how it goes. But I do like the idea of the stand just for a little bit more storage in here because I find a lot of it in here is just like top shelf space and you have to like make stuff nice when you top shelf it like it can't just be clutter whereas if I have some shelves to actually like put some good stuff on that might be helpful where the world takes us today and I think that'll be great <laughs> and let's do a haul. I have been to Cast Connections. I think this is honestly like my second time going this program and maybe my third actually. Um, but I hadn't been in a few months. Like literally I think like October-ish um, was the last time I was there. And they had so much stuff, which is weird because normally I haven't found anything there in like a couple of years now. Um, but I got a ton of good stuff that I was like kind of waiting for. Um, and then some stuff that I was just like not waiting for either. So the first thing I got is from the Food and Wine Festival. Um, and it is this big pitcher. Um, with four different just like cups inside their Encanto food and wine festival themed um, This was $7.99, which is such a solid decent price um, And I think it's just kind of like fun for summer like a nice little like I don't know patio drink set or something um, It's just like for like I mean it's not like the highest quality ever um, But this was regular $34.99 um, and yeah, seven bucks and it just all says like food and wine 2023 on it, which is really cute I also got this cup um, which says world showcase Canada on it. This cup was $12.99 um, And just a classic tumbler. It is hand wash only but for my iced coffees and that in the morning it will be perfect um I then got another stemless wine glass and I have one of these from every single food and wine festival now. So I have the 2022 one um, over here and then I do have the 2023 one right here and it says wine your way around the world. Um, food and wine 2023. When I go home, I want to plant succulents in the two of these that I have. I already have one in my uh, 2021 one as well so um another one of those just for my little collection and i'm literally wrapping this one right back up and it is just going in my closet for um when i go home because i don't need it to get damaged or i really need to use it for anything else so and that's there i got a tiana pop socket for 7.99 i thought this was just really gorgeous and stunning. I've been meaning to get one for my Kindle because I do not have a pop socket on my Kindle. Um, and I mean, I saw this one and really pretty. And this measuring cup set, I have been eyeing since it came out, but I couldn't justify the price. Um, and now that I know I'm going to be driving home, I can also justify getting it. And we'll make it home in one piece in this case. Um, it's also very, very heavy, but it was $14.99 and it is just a Christmas measuring cup set. Um, you know, it has a one cup, half cup, third cup, quarter cup, and then just the little tree topper. Um, and it comes on this plate and it is dishwasher and microwave safe as well. And I'm not a huge pin collector and you're probably like, well, then why did you get pins? Um, I got a ton. So... Festival of the Holidays pin, $6. Um, I don't have anything. This was my first time at Festival of the Holidays and I actually didn't get any uh, merch that actually says Festival of the Holidays on it. So I thought a pin would be a nice little memory. I do have a pin. Actually, I use my ear hats as my pin board. Um, so I do have one of those at home. And then I got a orange bird pin for myself. This was $1.99. It's limited edition. On my very first program in 2018, I collected Orange Bird pins. Um, so I don't have this one, so I thought I would just add that to my collection. And then I got a couple more. So 
I did get a second orange word pin that I texted my friend Noah. I'm going to see if he wants it because he's like a huge orange bird person. Um, so I'm just going to see if he wants it and then mail it to him if he does want it. But then I also got a third orange bird pin and two of the marathon pins because they were all $1.99. So I got these little variety, you know, um, and I got all of these to trade in the parks. So three traders, um, and then if Noah doesn't want this, I will have a fourth trader as well. But for $1.99, I mean, when pins are now going for like, like originally these were $17.99. That is crazy. Um, but like two bucks, obviously, of course, that's worth it. So I have that, and that is my Cast Connections haul. I am going to go to the pool now, um, bring my book there, relax a bit. And yeah, I made myself just like a little peach lemonade and we'll just go relax have a good time hang out uh there are park reservations open now but it was just hollywood studios and animal kingdom when i looked i really don't feel like going to animal kingdom today and i was just at hollywood studios the other day so we're just gonna stick it out with a no park hangout pool day um because i could use a little bit of tan i could use some time to read my book i really want to open this this drink set though Am I going to use it right now? Absolutely not. But I want to look at it because it is pretty. I love that. Okay, awesome. Um, off to the pool. <laughs> 